Hello guys, and welcome back to the shack. Today I've got something special. Yes, I have done it. I have bit the bullet and then went off crazy and bought a Motorola. And I gotta say, I just got it today, so I'm not um, real too keen in on it. So I just got it today. It's um, a Motorola 7550, and um, I got the radio, the battery, the charging cable, and the, uh, not the charging cable, the programming cable, and the desktop charger, and everything I needed to get me up and running. I've already got it programmed for DMR. I love the display, and I've actually got a, 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 um, a meter, you know, your your signal strength meter we all know how they are on these Chinese radios they're all over the place you know I'm glad to finally have a meter that actually works on this thing the Motorola meter is, is awesome I've already got it programmed for um, some of my local repeaters and the um, my open spot I've got that programmed in got all that done there'll be more videos to come as I play with it. I like that the keypad the keypad lights up which is pretty sweet. You can see the keys in the dark and look no trackball. <laughs> you know I was using the 2017. Comparing the two um, Uh, they're about exactly the same on height. The Motorola is more of a, it's a little heavier. It's got a more of a, of a radio feel to it. It's heavier. But up, down, left, and right, yes. I hate that damn trackball in that 2017. God, it drove me crazy. I couldn't stand it. But I know, you know, you can, you can, when your code plug and change it so you can change your zones over here which is a convenient it does make it a lot better but I don't know why they didn't just put it up and down and left and right I don't know if that makes sense but anyway I got the Motorola I haven't talked on the air with it yet I, like I said I just got it today I just got it programmed and um, I've been sitting here playing with it going through some of the some of the menu options and there is so many features it's just it's unbelievable the things that I can go in here and change okay, starting at the beginning we got a contacts list of course uh, your scan list your zones messages call log Bluetooth and yes I can hook this up to a Bluetooth headset and um, use it you know just like you would your cell phone. Next, utilities, job tickets, uh, notifications, back to utilities. Then you got radio settings and radio info. Radio info is um, just like your battery, your uh, DMR ID, your version of your firmware, stuff like that. In settings, there's like talk around. You can turn that on and off. Tones and alerts. All tones. Talk permit tones. Ring alert tones. Call ringers and keypad tones and volume offsets. Power up. <laughs> there is just so much, so many features. Your power, high and low, of course. Your display. And you can change that around. There's a night mode and a daytime mode. Uh, I think actually I have a well would go this way. Okay, if you go to daytime mode, it gives you a um, some more brighter screen. I kind of like the darker bluish screen. Uh, of course, you can adjust your brightness, how long you want the backlight to stay on or off backlight auto your backlight timer now that is what I was looking for 
You can go from 5 seconds, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 40, 50, 60, or infinite. Or it will just stay on. Of course, that's um, not going to be great for your battery, but the um, little screen does look good, don't it? All right, back where we was at. Okay. Your backlight timer. Then you have a menu timer. How long do you want the menu to stay up? You can go in just that. Your introductory screen. You can go in, turn that on and off, and you can go into the software and add a uh, photo or, or something that you want to pop up on the screen when you turn the radio on. Keypad lock. We all know what that does. Language. LED indicators on the top of the radio here. There's a when it's receiving a signal There'll be a green LED right here. That's blinking and when you're transmitting it will turn red You can password lock it Microphone automatic gain control if you want that microphone distortion intelligent audio so I'm not for sure what the intelligent audio is. I'll have to look that up. AF suppressors. Noise suppressors. Audio uh, ambience. Audio profiles. You can set up different profiles. Text entry. That has probably got something to do with... Word predict. Word correct. Sentence cap. <laughs> it's just so much stuff anyway that's a little bit about the settings and a little bit about the radio and I notice let me show you the you know because we all have had the antenna problems with the the um, MD 2017 myself included well if anything breaks on this it would be the antenna and look at that It's a solid chunk and it's heavy I mean it's a real antenna so you have nothing in the radio to break thank God yes I know Motorola's they are expensive I, I understand that but you know look what you get and the software if you get the downloaded the downloadable version of the software I think when I bought mine, it was $169 for three years. If you get the if you download it, but if you want the CD to come in the mail, I think it was 300 bucks for three years. So I've had the software already for a long time. I've just never, never got the radio. So now I have the radio. Good strong, healthy belt clip. I love the PTT. It's got a larger PTT here when you're actually holding it. Let me switch hands. You know, you got so you know your fingers line up just real good with everything. This is where you would put your programming cable or any accessory, microphones. Um, I've seen an accessory you can hook up here and, and plug it into a an external speaker there's all kinds of different stuff hey I think it says AGC yeah uh, you can turn your microphone AGC on and off I've got these buttons I need to the car didn't change my button routine and you can change uh, p1 p2 programmable then you've got one here one here one there and the orange one on the top on the top volume and what I like about it another thing is the channel because the channel you know, doesn't stop when you turn it you know how the knob will get to the end and it can't turn it anymore it just goes and goes and goes so you can just cycle right through your channels which is awesome a good feel on the knobs you get a good grip So, I'm really happy with it so far. So far. But like I said, I just got it today. I haven't even talked to anybody on it yet. I haven't talked to a soul. So, 
probably going to play with it here for a little while. Talk to a couple people, see what it sounds like on their end. And yeah, that is a very small review of the Motorola. Let's see if I can get the model number in here. Uh, it's a XPR 7550. I really wanted the XPR 7550E version, but God, they're expensive. They're like uh, from a dealer, 730 bucks. I think you can probably get one on eBay for maybe six. So you know, yeah, am I willing to pay the extra? You know, 150 bucks or 200 bucks, depending on what you get your 7550 for for the e version and there's not a lot there's not a whole lot of difference it depends i guess on what you want the e version does have a eight percent greater receive range they say i haven't tested it but there's youtube videos of that taking place this is not an e version this is just a 7550 so yeah that's where we're at just thought you guys might like to see the new radio. And I've got some more stuff here in the shack. I um, changed some radios around. I sold some stuff. I bought some stuff. <laughs> I have uh, pulled my old... Um, I've had a old um, a Kenwood TS820S. I've had it for a couple years. And I pulled it out of the, the closet. I sold my FTDX 1200 because I'm going to get a, um, I think I'm going to buy a 7300. Focus, you, there we go. Here is my TSA 20, which I love. I just love the old, uh, you know, for 7200. We know exactly what's there, a bunch of morons. But anyway, that's besides the point. Sometimes I like to go down there and listen and laugh at them. That's always fun. I haven't wired up the mic yet, so I've got to do that. My uh, boom mic. I've got a boom mic, but it's wired up for the um, FTDX 1200. So I've got to get that wired up for the um, the Kenwood. And give this baby a try. Like I said, it's been in the closet for a year. I cleaned it up a little bit. I put some LEDs in the focus. I put some LEDs in the meter. It had the um, yeah, the old dim, yellowish-looking wheat lamp type of light. That's just you know like a real warm color. I don't like. I like the more bright white. So I put LEDs in the in the meter. I just cleaned her up a bit. It's a beautiful radio, and it uh, it works great. It does a great job. I bought it from a a friend of mine a few years back. I can't remember how he got it or he took it in on a trade or something or somebody gave it to him or something. I don't know. But anyway, he, he couldn't get it working and it didn't have no power. Nothing would come on. And um, it was it was a lot to fix this radio. I had to rebuild the um, AVR board, which is the voltage regulation board. I had to rebuild that. Once I got that done, I had no S reader meeting and no S meter reading. I had to fix that. I had no frequency display. I had to fix that. It was just, um, God, it was just a can of worms, but I've got it done. And see if I can find somebody talking here. Let you hear what it sounds like. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Alright guys, 73's for now. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about the, the Motorola gear. I know some guys like them, some guys don't. You know, they make great equipment. They're just extremely expensive. But, you know, like I said, I, had, I bought the 2017. And we all know about that. Antenna failure. And, you know, I had to buy another antenna jack. And then tear it all apart. And... Put a new SMA in it and da 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 one thing or another.
but I still love my 2017. It's you know it's it's an awesome radio. I would love to see some some tools for it, which I think Ty has a a version out. I haven't uh, tried it or played with it yet, but yeah. Anyway, we're going on 15 minutes, so I'm going to say seven threes. Please subscribe, guys. Right now, YouTube is really hard on on small channels like mine for subscribers, and if we don't, if I don't have a thousand subscribers by February the 27th, I think they're going to take everybody's uh, partnership. So that that sort of sucks. It's no big deal. I'll still make videos, but you know, just please subscribe if you can. It's easy to subscribe, man. It's, you know, you move your finger and click. It doesn't cost you anything, you know, and it's, it really helps me out. So, I'd appreciate it if you'll subscribe to my videos and, um, uh, that lets me know that you like them and uh, helps me out too. And I'll make some more. 73's from now.